So we want to start by creating our link wheel. Now we've talked a bit about the theory and over the coming videos we'll go into more detail about them. But for now we want to talk about how you create your first site. So we're going to create our first site here on let's say blogger.com. It doesn't matter which one you create it on. There's many out there. So just pick one and start on that one. But don't always start on the same one. So what we're going to do is we're going to sign in with our Google account. If you don't have a Google account you can create one. Uh, as you sign in so I'm just going to sign in and we'll start creating a blog okay so now we have to create our blog so we give it a title now we're going to call it uh, seven steps to internet marketing success so we can say that our keyword here is internet marketing success so what we want is we want our keyword in the title and our keyword here as the uh, domain name so let's check the availability and see whether it's free it's not available so we can go for this one seven steps to internet marketing success um, what we might do is we might decide well actually we're going to call it uh, internet marketing success tips let's see if that works right that's not available either so let's just put for you see if that one's free okay so that is available so we then click continue so we've got a keyword in there. Ideally, you want your keyword right at the start of the URL because that's going to be much better for you. So now we have to pick a theme. Again, uh, it doesn't matter what theme you choose unless you're particularly keen on human visitors. Um, uh, we'll just one at random. We're going to have that one. Oh, missed. That one will do. There you are. We picked one. And then click continue. You can pick any template you want. It just doesn't matter. You, as long as it looks nice, that's all that we're fussed about. Um, you know, you can spend some time designing and picking the template if you really want, but you've got to remember part of the aim of the game here is to get these sites done and get these sites out there fairly quickly. The more time you spend uh, messing around with the sites, then obviously the longer it's going to take you to create your link with. Okay, and then we're ready to continue. Uh, you can have a look at the advanced setups where you can use your own domain or import a blog from somewhere else, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to start blogging. Okay, so what we do is we're going to put our article in here. So there's our article. We put our title up here. So this is the title uh, keyword in title. Your article is going to be keyword rich. You want decent keywords in it. And then we'll, what we're going to do is we're going to put links through to our website. So we'd have keyword one and keyword two now what these will do is these need to be natural naturally included in the text so write about something naturally and just include your keyword and then all you do to make it a hyperlink is to click that button there and then when you're done you publish the post and it's out there now there's many other things you can do you can monetize it with some Google Ads you can change the layout settings etc etc it's up to you how you want to do it um, whether you want to edit it you may want to add two or three posts now if you spun your content in here will go a spun version so let's just um, spun version of article will go in there and then you'll have unique title so you don't want to create say a 60 uh, spoke hub uh, 60 spoke uh, link bill with you know every single one having the same title because that's obviously going to give it away so you want to vary the title, um, different combinations of keywords and so on in order to really um, make it look good and sound good. And basically that's what you do. Once you've got your keywords, so this one is going to link to our money site, say. And then this one is linked to next uh, link wheel spoke. Now, obviously, if you haven't created this yet, you can't link to it. So, um, in this instant, because we haven't got any more, we probably wouldn't have this keyword. This, key, this, this keyword would disappear, and we may have a link out to, say, an authority site or something else. When we create our next uh, spoken our link wheel, we will have these two links. Now, don't always, again, don't always do them in the same order. Sometimes swap these over. So, you know, the, the uh, link wheel spoke link is first, and then the money site link is second so swap them around occasionally um, so on our next one we would have these two links in one linking to this blogger blog and the other linking to our money site 
And that's basically all you need to do. You simply just repeat this for as many Web 2.0 properties as you want to. And you just keep doing the same process again and again and again. And you'll end up quite literally with um, yeah, lots and lots of incoming links. And then what you need to do is I'd recommend just create a spreadsheet or a, a text document, a notepad or whatever. And what you want to do is you want to record. Um, let's just write down what you want to record. You want to record the site name. Then you want to record the username, the password, the URL um, to, to the site and maybe the RSS feed. And then that makes it easy for you to quite simply um, track this. And then once you've created them, you go through the URLs and ping them. You go and submit the RSS feeds. You may also want to um, track key, keyword, keyword one uh, or, or the two keywords. So you might want money site keyword and maybe um, link wheel keyword. So the internal link to the next site. So you may want to track those and that will help you track what keywords you're using so you can make sure that you don't use the same keyword too many times. Just tracking something like that is going to make it a lot easier for you to administrate this and keep track of what you've done, where you've done it and basically update it so that you can, um, you know, basically update it so that you can uh, keep track of what you've done and you're pinging everything. Otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to create the site, then you've got to ping it, then you've got to submit the RSS feed, and then a week later you're going to think, right, now where was that site? What was it called again? Because I want to go back and add some more content. So, you know, just a simple spreadsheet like this is going to help you keep track of it. Uh, very, very worthwhile doing. But you can see it's not difficult to do, is it? It's really, really easy. And you just repeat this for multiple sites, and before you know it, you will have a good amount of incoming links to your website. It's incredibly powerful, effective, and easy to do. So now you understand sort of the basics of a link wheel. Let's go on to the next video and talk a little bit more about some of the advanced techniques and how you can really take your link wheel structure to the next level.